cold means putting on the layers to keep out the cold the last few days. Certainly, but what about those who are out in the elements for most of the day? News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos continues our team coverage of the Arctic blast tonight. Trace. Hey, Chris, you know, it is the third day in the row for these biting temperatures, but for those who work outside day in and day out, they know how to handle this January weather. Sandra Lewis has been a mail carrier for 13 years. This one is pretty bad. I mean, it's pretty cold. Yeah, really cold. Um, last year was a piece of cake. But it is a different story this year. This is the coldest air that we felt in more than 1,400 days. And Sandra knows it. Basically keep moving, you know, layers. Well, I have on like three layers, and if I need to, I'll take something off, put something on as need be. She's not alone. Construction workers, police officers, and sanitation workers all have to brave the elements to make a living. Tim Jones and his co-workers make roughly 100 stops a day in rain, shine, or as in yesterday's case, snow. The blizzard is bad, real bad, real bad. Just imagine how cold it is up here working on this billboard. Or watching the traffic as the wind whips in your face. For most of us, walking or running from one place to another is, well, uncomfortable. But for the men and women who work outside, it is all in a day's work. That's you always on time. That's a good mail lady right there. Thank you. Sandra walks her route every day delivering the mail. She wears layers, keeps moving, and takes breaks to warm up. Yeah. And this winter has given her a different perspective on what her least favorite time of year really is. I used to say the summer was worse, but now I'm, I want to say the winter. <laughs> the workers spending the majority of their day outside in this weather are certainly earning their money. Now, the extreme cold should be gone after today, but you just heard Mark say that this cold is not going anywhere anytime soon. On your side, live in Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.